<laughs> What's good everybody? Dr. Evil Genius bringing to you another gameplay commentary. This time it's a cranked gameplay on Sovereign. Uh, just a few minutes ago I murdered a container of Ben & Jerry's uh, Vanilla Heath Bar Crunch. If you haven't been eating Ben & Jerry's, you're eating some other kind of ice cream, you are missing out. You need to have some Ben & Jerry's in your life. I very highly recommend the Heath Bar Crunch because uh, it's just it's just heavenly ice cream. Anyway, Smack and Do's the M-Tarx. Um, very, very fast gameplay, so I just want to get very quickly into what I want to talk about today. Uh, there are two really hot names in sports right now, and they're hot names for stuff that has nothing to do with sports. That would be Donald Sterling and Michael Sam. So I just wanted to give my two cents on both situations and kind of how both of those situations seem to uh, kind of control the way that people are thinking about sports and American culture, civilization, or however you want to call it. Uh, first, first starting off with the Donald Sterling thing. Uh, I've always felt like this. I think that everybody's a racist. And let me just say that one more time. I believe that in some way, shape, form, or fashion, every single person on planet Earth is a racist. So, when it comes to Donald Sterling, I'm kind of split on two sides. On one side, there's... Well, he did buy the team, and he did it legally, and people are trying to just snatch the team away from him unilaterally, and it doesn't really feel legal, it doesn't feel constitutional to me. But on the other hand, it's like, okay, if you don't like black people, and the league is like 85% black, why would you want to own an NBA franchise? Why not own an NHL franchise, or... So an MLS, an MLS franchise, or something like that. So, well, you know, I don't believe that he should own an NBA franchise. I think that it should be because he doesn't want to own an NBA franchise. But we're going down a slippery slope when we want to take away what you know people's ownership, thing that they bought with their own money, and just take it away from them unilaterally because we don't agree with an opinion that he said in the privacy of his own home speaking of opinions same thing goes with the whole michael sam issue i feel like when it comes to michael sam i believe that you know if you look at the way that the nfl find all of those players after michael sam was drafted and he's making out with his boyfriend or whatever on national tv like everybody was prepared for that uh people got fined for their opinions on the matter and I found out to be, again, another slippery slope where people have the opinions that they have. That's not going to stop. But they're being penalized just for having an opinion and voicing that opinion. And it's like, well, I don't know. If somebody voiced their opinion about another group of people, would we have the same reaction? Would there still be fines levied? I don't know. There's a lot of slippery slopes going on when it comes to personal freedoms these days. People, be careful. All right, see you on the next video.